We built an RX-7 rotary powered drift trike and this week we are finally finishing it. It's going to take a lot of welding, a ton of paint, and then we will be ready to ride. Here we go! Nice! Oh no! <laughs> well, we caught some of it. to clean up all the weld areas, and then uh, weld it all up. TIG welding the rest of this, but both the argon tanks are gone. You know, half of this is already MIGged, so it's not gonna hurt anything if I MIG the rest of it. working out well. I'm actually kind of glad that the TIG welder broke because I kind of forgot that MIG welding is fun too. Last thing to weld on it is little end caps on these. Make them look extra pretty with a little nub in there on the end from a piranha punch out. And then I'll have to cut something to cap off those ones. That should be it. That's an ellipse that's 1.4 wide and too long. So... Yeah. Remember, always water your plasma table thoroughly before cutting. chassis. I could spend the next day cleaning the rust off of it, or we could just take it to a powder coating shop and have them sandblast it. All of us have totally been to a gym before, you can tell. Oh yeah. One, okay, sports on three. Right. One, One, two, three. Sports! sports. The, we got it. You got it? Yep. Yes. Okay. Oh. Goal! Yeah! Sports! <laughs> Today I'm gonna to be tearing apart this crusty Dorito engine and uh, making it look awesome with some Duplicolor paint. There is a lot of what I believe to be stationary gear bearing material in the pan, like, that's a lot. There's a ton of it in there. Oh. Like, I'm no rotary expert. When I see, like, an actual chunk of metal in my oil pan, I am concerned. So, <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I'm kind of interested to find out. There is definitely a way to do this, and I'm gonna get roasted in the comments. Now, this engine might be a coffee table, so don't roast me too hard. <laughs> We're about to find out if it's going to end up being a coffee table. Or not very soon. Yeah, there is so much metal in that pan, it's insane. It really is. I'm going around and taping the 13B up. We got someone to sandblast it. 
yeah, I'm just going around taking all the polished surfaces and taping them. I'm probably gonna have to do another layer of this, but honestly, it's pretty fun, pretty soothing. Looks so awesome. Yes, I love the look of fresh leaf sandblasted metal. Yeah, that's way too high. Let me get another piece of wire. I grabbed a couple little pieces of scrap tubing here, cleaned them with some of our uh, multi purpose foaming prep cleaner. I'm gonna spray one of them with the Metal Specs specialty coating and see what that looks like. And then I'm gonna spray the other one with the molten red metallic paint shop paint and see which one we like better. All right guys, I've got two samples here. So I think it's pretty obvious which color we should go with, but yes. these are our two options. That yeah. one. <laughs> so that one. yeah, this is also a really cool color. It looks great. But it's a little more like burnt orange. That's what I we mean, have in our heads. Yeah. Yeah, just is this like the bomb can. Or it, the... it is. That's the rattle can. That came out of a rattle can. Yeah, it's crazy really nice. Ridiculous. Look at how like equally spaced the speckles are. This oh, this would be a great color for fire truck stuff. Like, Ooh. not the body, because we'll keep the body original, but like yeah. the bed and stuff. Yeah, it would fit yeah. there. If we do like a roof rack for it or yep. something. Yeah. Roof rack, Ooh. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We sandblasted the whole chassis for, you know, the best possible finish, the best adhesion, and to get rid of all the rust because it sat around for a year. Now I'm hitting it with some Duplicolors prep spray to get any remaining dust, grease, anything that might have gotten on there from us, you know, carrying it around, setting it up, and all that, so. Getting all of it nice and clean and prepped. So we get a nice, long lasting, premium finish. Got all prep sprayed and cleaned up. Now it's time for some primer. And for this, we're using Duplicolor's self etching primer. It etches itself into the bare metal and gives better adhesion. We shouldn't have any paint chipping problems. I found that I really like about this is that it's green. Because when you're painting sandblasted metal, normal gray primer is exactly the same color. So you can't see what you've primed and what you haven't. But this is just a light shade of green and it makes it so you can totally see all the spots you've missed. So we let our self-etching primer dry. We decided on the Metal Specs Red because it is just such a nice, sparkly color. Uh, it looks great in here, out in the sun. It looks even better. So time to turn this whole chassis red. Although it does look very cool in this sort of army green-esque primer. That looks very nice. I really like the color. We'll let that cure for a few days and then, you know, start putting things back together.
I think we're gonna go for a black and gold scheme. We got black and gold. I was originally thinking like only one of those colors, but then we saw how nice the uh, frame looks and how much it looks like an Iron Man suit. We got all the pieces of the engine cleaned up and ready to paint. We got some VHT engine enamel primer which is good to 550 degrees Fahrenheit. If our engine gets that hot, we've got bigger problems than the paint. We've got VHT uh, engine enamel gold for parts of it and uh, Duplicolor's engine enamel black for the other parts. clear engine enamel. thing and it's uh we put one part on and it's already looking minty fresh it's also kind of funny how many different manufacturers of parts there are in this thing we've got <laughs> honda front forks we've got well obviously custom chassis chassis we've got mazda transmission and engine we've got audi rear suspension and differential probably a few other things i'm forgetting Time to clean them up a bit. Before I put the diff back in, I'm gonna weld it. Can't be a drift trike if you can't drift. And if you got an open diff, Drifting's pretty difficult. That's exactly what I expected to happen. This is a really, I like this design of differential. It's very nice. One of the few things that German cars have done that's actually easier to work on. Got it all cleaned up and I'm gonna TIG weld the diff because uh, it's much cleaner than MIG. nice and welded. Uh, I welded all four corners of both sides of the spider gears and one side of the spider gear to the housing on each one because why not make it overkill? It helps that I can take it out. Subaru and even BMW differentials have the access on the back instead of the one side. So like when you take that off, you'd have to disassemble a whole bunch of other stuff to get the differential out. I really like this design. I'm glad we used this differential, which if you're curious, is out of an Audi A6. This was the right choice of colors. If Iron Man had a roller rig trike, this would be it. Thank you. 
This is kind of a cool steering setup. We've tested it quite a bit and it always holds up just fine. But I always think about like, if you're doing like some crazy high speed run or like going really fast and you hit something wrong and one of these cables pulled out, you would be very, very screwed. Because if one of them snaps, your steering just goes to one side and you can't control it. That would be not premium. Yeah. It would just- mm, They'd rub on the paint. Yeah. Ugh. Honestly turned out so much better than I ever thought it would like at any stage really my concept for this was like this just really absurd thing that you know like worked crazy but didn't necessarily look that good I mean I always wanted it to look good but just at every step of the way it has turned out better and uh, the paint is no different thanks to Duplicolor the paint just came out perfect I just I just love it it's awesome the gold transmission and the red frame black bits here and there mm. it's just the right types of ridiculous and crazy yeah now we just got to get it running as good as it looks and then we'll do some full send videos with it because now we have a welded diff it all looks premium just got to get it running right and there'll be a full send video soon <laughs> 